Hey guys, welcome back to Dr. O'Donovan Medicine Made Easy. And this YouTube channel is aimed at helping you understand complex medical topics and breaking them down into bite-sized, easy to understand chunks. So in today's video, I'm going to go over what you'd hear with croup and give you some real life examples of sounds, which will hopefully be really useful as we come into the winter season. But before we listen to these sounds, let's first of all go over a quick recap of what croup is, what causes it, and the symptoms of croup. So croup refers to infection of the upper airway, which obstructs breathing and causes a characteristic barking cough, which is typically found in infants and young children. The cough and the other signs and symptoms of croup are the result of a swelling around the voice box, which is known as the larynx, the windpipe, which is known as the trachea, and bronchial tubes down in the lungs, which are the bronchi. When a cough forces air through the narrow, narrow passageway, swollen vocal cords produce a noise similar to a seal barking, and that's the characteristic classical croup sound. Likewise, taking a breath often produces a high-pitched whistling sound, which is known as stridor. So croup is most typically caused by parainfluenza virus, but it can also be caused by respiratory syncytiovirus, also known as RSV, influenza, adenoviruses, or enteroviruses. So now we've covered a little bit about what croup is, but well, what are the symptoms of croup? Well, croup often begins as a typical cold, and if there's enough inflammation and coughing, a child can develop a loud barking cough that's further aggravated by crying and coughing, as well as anxiety, agitation, and that sets up a cycle of worsening symptoms. They can also have a fever, a hoarse voice, and breathing that can be noisy or labored, and these symptoms are often worse at nighttime. They usually last three to five days, but if they don't, then the child might need to seek further medical attention. So now that we know croup cough sounds like a typical barking seal, let's have a listen to a few children who actually have croup to hear what the sounds are like. So how do you manage croup? Well, the good news is that the majority of children with croup can be treated at home, but some children who get really sick will need to go to hospital to be assessed by the medical team, will typically observe the child's breathing, they'll listen to their chest with a stethoscope and they'll check the child's throat. If the doctor or the medical team feel that the child needs medications to help them with their breathing, then the mainstay of treatment in croup are steroids and adrenaline nebulizers. Steroids are things such as prednisolone, dexamethasone, or nebulized budesonide, and in severe croup, nebulized adrenaline can be used for a more immediate effect. Adrenaline basically buys the medical team some time by shrinking the inflamed airway whilst the steroids can get to work. For really severe croup, the child might need to spend time in hospital to be monitored and receive additional treatments. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. I also really enjoy hearing from subscribers and people who viewed the video, so if you really did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please remember to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching and until next time, bye.